What's your voice code for front door? One, two, three, four. Unlocking. Hang on. The average UK home has over 10 smart devices. Those are gadgets that can connect to the internet. The obvious ones are laptops and smart speakers, but also printers, webcams, even kettles. Each one of these presents an opportunity to hackers to get access to things they really shouldn't. But what can you do about it? To show the damage they could do, we've set up this house for the unsuspecting Grace with a whole range of smart devices. We've not fiddled with these. These are normal things you'd buy online, then set up a standard, and we're gonna hack them. We scoured the dark web for the most malicious black hat hackers in the country and... Wait a minute. It's Guy from NCC Group. Hello. What are we gonna do today? So we're going to use same processes that criminals use to try and hack into these devices to gain control of them and the data that, that then exposes them. I'm chucking away this smart doorbell. Surely it won't be a threat to me now. So we've got this old doorbell. We're able to take this apart and retrieve the credentials, not only the username and password, but also the Wi-Fi password. And that's still in there, even though she's chucked it away and it doesn't look like it's in a good condition. Yes, that's, that, 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 that information is held permanently on that device. And so once you've got that information, what can you do? We can then log into her Wi-Fi and then do everything on her Wi-Fi that she would normally do and with the tools that hackers have got, do a lot more. Okay, so what should Grace have done? If it's possible with the device, it needs to be reset. That will wipe the passwords and any credentials that are held on the device. If not, try and destroy it. With a hammer. Absolutely. Excellent. I've set up a smart camera to keep my home secure. Can we get into that? Yes. Once we've got the Wi-Fi password, we're in the network. So we can then search the network for all of the devices that are connected. And once we've found the IP address of the device, we can then target it. Grace set a weak password. Ah, so she set a password. Yes, but it wasn't enforced that she had to make it strong. There are different programs that you're able to use to brute force the username and password and you eventually get the right one. And then you can log in and see her feed. And there we go. Typing away without a care in the world. Okay, what did Grace do wrong here? Well, initially, she didn't go for a trustworthy brand. Secondly, we advise people that when they get these kind of devices into their home, if they can, change the password to something strong. Wireless printers are great. They allow me to share one printer across my whole family, which has been really useful with everyone working remotely. Surely you're going to need all your skills to get into this. Unfortunately not. This printer has a capability called Wi-Fi Direct. No password. You, connect, you click on the Wi-Fi and you're connected. And then what, you can just print anything you want? Yes. So being able to print things, what's the threat there? You could send threatening letters. Some of these printers that also have the ability to see the print queue. Right. And so you can see whatever other documents have been sent to it or what are currently being sent to it at the moment. Okay, what should Grace have done in this case? So if she didn't need the Wi-Fi direct capability, you can go into the configuration and turn it off and change the password at the same time. A lot of these are weak or guessable or even leaked already to the internet. A smart lock allows me to remotely control access to my house via the internet. I've gone with a trusty brand and can even open it using my Alexa. The issue we had is the cheap camera from the beginning. And you're going to bring that back in? Yes. In this instance, we're able to record and listen to a previous instance where someone talked to the lock using Alexa and also re revealed their password. And what are we going to do with it now? So we're going to use that speaker to unlock the door. Via Alexa? Absolutely. Alexa? Open the front door. What's your voice code for front door? One, two, three, four. Unlocking. Hang on. And there we go, front door opened. Yep, we're in. That is scary. Yes. And presumably, because we've got the camera, we know whether or not Grace is in, yep. sneak in, grab whatever we want. Okay, so it seems like Grace did the right thing. She got a reputable brand of smart lock, but she was let down by that camera. Choosing a cheaper, non-trusted brand was the way that, that we were able to get into her home. And anything else? Being strategic 
thinking about the technology that is in your house. Where in the home does it need to be? And if you do think that there is a threat, do you really need it? What are the top tips from a hacker to protect your home? Change the default passwords. Apply any security updates. Buy from a trusted brand. And if you can, wipe the technology of any sensitive data before you throw it away. Now, all of these attacks were performed by the good guys. But the scale of these attacks in the real world is huge and it happens without us realizing. We left a whole range of devices in the lab, connected to the internet but monitored by the team. Within a week, we'd seen over 12,000 attack attempts against our devices from real external threats. That includes over 2,000 attempts to access devices via default passwords. That's 14 attempts every single hour. Follow those steps and you can protect your home. But maybe you should ask yourself, does your kettle really need to get onto the Wi-Fi? Thanks for watching. Sign up to our free weekly newsletter to get all of the latest news.